archaeologists have unearthed identity tags belonging to four children murdered by the Nazis at Sobibor death camp in eastern Poland. They were found during a series of excavations between 2012 and 2014 at the death camp used during the Holocaust. The tags are all different, which leads the archaeologists to believe they were given to the children by their parents before being separated from them. The parents may have hoped that the ID tags would help the children be identified and returned home. Each tag lists the child's name, their date of birth and hometown, which helped archaeologists learn more about their short lives. They belong to a six-year-old girl, an eight-year-old boy, a 12-year-old girl and an 11-year-old boy who were all killed in 1943. All of the children came from Amsterdam and could be traced through train records of Jewish people sent to Sobibor from Western Europe. Some of the newly identified youngsters were part of a mass deportation of some 1,300 children just four to eight years old who were sent to the gas chambers as soon as they arrived at Sobibor. In total, about 250,000 people, mostly Polish Jews, were killed at Sobibor while it was operational between May 1942 and October 1943. It was just one of a number of camps used by the Nazi regime to murder six million Jews, along with those belonging to other groups. <laughs> <laughs>